Welcome to the real world. Um, so this is a video that I've been talking about for a little while. Um, we're going to make a cheap button box for farm sim for me. Um, I was inspired by a video by someone who did this for DaVinci Resolve. This should work for anything where you want to set up macros. Um, so let's have a quick look at what I've got. Um, I'll put up on the screen now what it is that I ordered. Um, I have not really unpacked this yet, so hopefully it all works. Um, if not, I guess you guys won't have seen this, so it doesn't really matter. So let's have a look. Um, I am using, for me, a very different recording setup for this bit, so hopefully it has worked. So we have a 24 button macro keyboard actually a new nice new addition that they've added since i've seen other videos on these is they've added rubber feet which is really nice and they are supposed to be mechanical keys um comes with a usb-c cable that's how you connect it to the computer um in there and then there is some software that you use to record macros and we'll go through that in a bit um obviously having 24 identical keys is a bit tricky to work out. So what I have brought is these printable keys. And what these should allow you to do is you put a piece of paper on the top here and then put the cap on and you can customize your key. Um, and I have got a template for those which um, is designed for what I want. I'll share some links below for where I got the icons and stuff from. Some of them I've drawn, some of them I've downloaded. Um, so you'll kind of have to customize that yourself if you want to try and do this. So I'm going to um, get the, the key caps, the bits of paper printed out. We'll get those put in and then we'll look at programming it. So this is the before. Um, drew these out in PowerPoint and set the size of the box to be the size of the top of the keycaps, hopefully. And there we go. Those are ready to go in the keycaps. Hopefully they are going to fit. I have not tested them. Um, so wish me luck. I assume these don't have a way of being up. So let's just try and get one done on the camera and then I will do the rest off camera. Um, there we go. So that is the first one done. Hopefully that sort of shows. So I'll get the rest of these done and on the keyboard and I will see you at the computer. So hopefully I will have shown on the screen now a picture of what it looks like put together. I'm really pleased with it. it. Looks really cool considering it cost 35 bucks, about 30 pounds ish. Um, should have mentioned that at the start, probably. Um, on the screen now is the software that the manufacturer provides. Um, it's interesting. I guess I'll probably be deleting it when I finish. Um, it sets up a local network to connect to the keyboard through USB. So yeah, um, we are going to search for a device. There is our keyboard and we will connect to it. Um, and that's interesting that they have it that way around. I wonder if I can rotate it. I don't think I can. Does it show me which key? No, I'll, uh, um, I'll, I'll work that out. And we'll go through trying to work out how to map all the keys. So it has RGB, obviously that makes everything better. Um, the, the setup that I'm using is some base game functions and enhanced vehicle. Um, you could do it to work with um, pretty much anything, to be honest. Um, I guess uh, guidance steering might be a popular option for the GPS functions if you want to do that. Crack on um, or um, VCA 
but I wanted to have a play with the enhanced vehicle and this felt like a nice tool for doing that. So um, it's going to click off the screen and try and work out which keys are which. Um, so I'm that way, I guess. Yep. Okay. Um, so this key down here is my top left key. Yeah, simple, huh? Um, so key mode default modifier key. We want uh, left control, confirm, and then general key. I want num add slash firm. Firm. Okay, hopefully that's worked. I, I've not tested, not really played with this software. You're seeing me use it as we go through. Um, once it's all in, we'll test it all. So the next one is calculate tracks, which is right control numpad two. So again, I'll go in here, I'll do right control, confirm, and then numpad two. Um, 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 I'm actually just going to do a test on something that's not firm, firm. So if I go and test that over here, yes, but it is working. You can't see me test that, but it is working. So, um, the next one is width. So that's right control numpad one for enhanced vehicle. Right, control, confirm, and then numpad one, confirm, confirm. I'm going to go through and set all these up and I'll be back and uh, I'll show you what the grid looks like and then we'll take it in the game and have a look. Okay, I think that's all of them done. Hopefully I've got them all right. It would surprise me how few base game keys that I don't remember because you just kind of do it through muscle memory. Um, so I'm going to hit save forever. That will send them all to the keyboard, I believe, and they will be saved on there. So the cool thing is you can move that between computers, I believe, I haven't tested that yet. Um, I hope you can, um, so that you don't have to have any extra software running to plug it in and it should work. So let's go into the game and test some of this stuff out. Okay, so we are in the game hopefully you can also see the mini keyboard on the screen depends how good my editing has been um, and i'm just going to show you a few of the functions this is not an enhanced vehicle tutorial so i'm not going to show you everything that i've mapped but let's go through a few of them so uh, hazard lights it works beacons they work um attach and detach works Steering mode. Well, I've got the JCB. You can see that cycling through on the menu. Um, the front and rear on and off and raise and lower. Um, I really wanted these because it's going to make some jobs much, much easier. Um, cruise control. Probably helps if I steer. Um, so I've got that one. That works just fine. Um, I think that's everything that I can show you on here. Actually, you know, we can do the differentials. So we've got the enhanced vehicle HUD on the right hand side there. And we can do the different differentials and um, four wheel drive or not. So those all work. So really pleased with that. Um, we jump across to here. Um, I am going to try and remember how to use enhanced vehicles GPS function. So we've got the, the menu there. We don't really need that. Um, I'm going to hit calculate tracks. It's done it. Awesome. It's got the auto width right by the looks of it. If we then hit that button, we should be on our track. Awesome. And then we can lower down the cultivator and there we go. Awesome really like that we can change the headland mode nice we can do the headland distance 
it's interesting that it's changed i must have that key set wrong because it's changing the mode at the same time better check that one out um what else have we got i don't think there's much more i can easily demonstrate on here without setting a load of stuff up but um i would recommend you set this up however you want it set up not how i've set it up um this is just to show you what's possible i guess um you can do stuff in the software for the rgb as well i wasn't interested in that you meant you might have noticed i didn't mention most of the functionality of that software because i just want to use it to map the keys um this will work for pretty much anything you want to shortcut i'll try and remember to link a card in the top right hand corner for the video that inspired me to try and do this um yeah farm sim pretty sure it worked with ats obviously you the different layouts for different things and um, whatever mod you want to set it up to work with um maybe you have a few of them there there is one that comes with a dial as well which i was kind of curious about for some things but i went with this one and i will uh, let you know in the future how it goes um if you've just found the channel thanks to this then think about hitting the subscribe button uh, if you enjoyed the video click the like button any comments or questions or whatever stick them below um Thank you to the YouTube channel members and the patrons. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Just thanks to you guys that I decided to do this. Um, and I will see you next time.